All right. <clears throat> okay, so this quick lesson is just going to show you how to use a soft brush in GIMP to kind of rough in an edge. Um, specifically, I'm talking about this portion of this image right here, the mask of this uh, kid's baseball helmet. Um, the problem is, is these are pretty thin details, and trying to use a lasso tool to make these selections effectively isn't going to work very well, especially because if you look, zoom really close, you can see that it's kind of blurry. I mean, there's no real hard defined edge at any point. So if you try to use the lasso tool, you're going to get some of that green in the background, and it's just not going to look very good. So the best way to do this is by using a soft brush and a layer mask. The first thing we want to do is add a layer mask. So just right click on your background layer and click add layer mask. Now if you're not familiar with layer masks, I have a link below that um, is a really in-depth and really good video that will teach you all about layer masks and how they work. Uh, otherwise I'm going to just assume that you know how to work them. So the first thing we're going to do now is uh, click white full opacity and click add. All right, so now that the image, we have a layer mask added, we're going to go ahead and switch to the color black. And we're going to just click and make sure that we're using a soft brush. And then using the left and right brackets, which are uh, beside the letter P, you can increase and decrease the size of your brush quickly and easily. We're going to use that to our advantage for this. So we'll go ahead and just start tracing along his the edge of his head here. Just kind of, it doesn't have to be perfect, just kind of rough it in there. And nice short strokes, because if you make a mistake, you'll be able to hit Control Z to undo, and it won't undo your whole, it'll only undo that recent uh, stroke. Okay, so there I cut off a little bit too much of his helmet. So I'm just going to hit X to switch back to white, and just kind of bring that information back in. So I'm just going to hit the X key and switch back and forth between white and black and just kind of rough it in. I think I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller just because I don't want it to feather. I don't want the brush to be so soft. There we go. And I'm just going to keep on brushing away some of these little fine details that we don't need. We'll just, like I said, keep right on going. Now right here in this sharp V, I'm going to scale my brush down, and then I'm just going to go in there and just rough it in. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because whenever you make a little mistake, you can just switch back over to the color white, and you can just bring that information back in. Just some short brush strokes, and you can rush that, rough all of that information right back in. So then just switch back to black, and now just brush that information out. You can see that this is much easier than trying to make all these selections because even whenever you do take the time to make all of these selections, it's still not going to turn out quite right because no matter what happens, you're never going to be able to get the, the soft edge from the lasso tool correctly. So that pretty well sums up what I wanted to show you guys. Um, obviously you could continue going through by scaling the brush up and uh, brushing some of the helmet away and doing all of that, but the important part was really just showing you how to be able to easily just kind of rough in objects with the brush. I hope this helps you guys, and uh, if you guys have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Thanks!